I did the pilot film for Wild Kingdom, and that was called Attack and Defense. And it was out in Lincoln Park, and there was a big crew, and I was quite impressed with that. Uh, you know, this was really a bunch of pros. But they wanted to let me to let the eagle loose and fly. I had trained this big eagle to come to the fist. And I couldn't do that because it's, you know, eight 30 pound monkeys and I didn't want it soaring around Chicago looking in baby carriages. I would have been sent back to the Amazon. No, but anyway, final analysis, they got the shot and finally I was gonna try the eagle flying from a tree down to me and then I might release it. Nowadays, with digital, you can wipe out a, a string or anything on any animal, but in those days we couldn't do it. Anyway, long story short, there was an Associated Press photographer over here filming all this, and my eagle came down, I called it. All of a sudden, it veered to the left, and I looked over, and a little old lady with a, a white-haired, fuzzy little poodle came through the security line, and the eagle was either going at the poodle or the lady, I don't know what, because she also had little white fluffy hair, just like the poodle. And I dove on the line, <laughs> I cut my hand, but I saved the life of the, of the poodle. And they disappeared all of a sudden. And uh, that was quite a, an experience. The Associated Press photographer had a look of glee on his face because he knew he was gonna get a Pulitzer Prize winning photograph. But he was very depressed when I stopped the eagle. Yeah. I would have, if that eagle had caught in that poodle, I would have been uh, ejected from Chicago. I never would have been on Wild Kingdom.